Now for this particular video, Gary, I don't think I'm going to make a video to you about any particular point or debate in particular, but, uh, well, maybe at the end I might make a couple of points, but in this video instead, I think I'm going to make a video about you. From what I've seen so far, you fail at some things, and you succeed in others. You know, just like everybody, failures, success, just you fail more often than you succeed. But let, let's, let's look at your failures first. You know, you fail to follow logical paths of progression. In most situations I've observed, you also fail to understand the basics of cause and effect. I don't even think you know what cause and effect is. You know, things aren't always just cut and dry. Just when you think you got something all figured out, up jumps another contingency that's, that's worthy of being addressed. Thus, you must follow a path of cause and effect to get to the uh, root of many problems. Now, in that arena, you fail. But don't worry about it. You know, identifying that you've got a problem first is your first step to recovery. Okay? I'm here to help you. You know, sometimes also, people will often deliberately pretend that they can't follow something. Uh, such as in your last video, to me, when you, when you had no logical argument to my overall presentation, you decided to talk about pigeons. Let's, let's back up a bit, shall we? You know, you had complained in one of, your, one of your first videos to me that I addressed too many issues in a single video. And at that point, I kind of felt sorry for you and your, and your, your diminished brain capacity and said I'd break the vids up for you. Remember? Or is your brain even capable of recalling things that were just said a couple of days ago? Oh, you know, point in fact again, more to it. When I break up my vids, I even put the topic of the vid or the, the channel I'm responding to in bold letters right across the screen. Can you read, Gary? So don't try and make my arguments out to be something they're not just to cover up for your own failures. One step at a time and address the proper videos from the proper channel. Hell, you're the one that made the channels up, not me. You know, at the end of your video, hmm, you said something like, let's keep it civil. Civil? Are you kidding me? Anyone who's even been slightly paying attention can see who's civil and who's not. You just can't get through the basics. And as a result, you get frustrated, throw tantrums. You know, I could point out the error of your ways, but I don't think it's your fault. Fault belongs to your mother, who obviously didn't wash your mouth out with soap. Well, that, that's enough of your failures. Enough of your failures. Your success. Not, not to say that you don't have more failures. Those are all the ones I'm going to talk about right now. But your success. Let's see, where are you successful? Because I did say everybody's successful somewhere or another. You know, I try to be flexible. But unlike you, I can't get my head to go up my ass. You win there. That's your success. But that's about it. Okay, okay, my turn, my turn. I've got failures too, and I've got success. And my failures, failures, wait a minute, I'll have to think about this. You know, I actually thought you might have something logical to contribute to a discussion. I actually thought you were concerned about things that were going on, you know, going on in the world and wrong with society, and you might want to discuss logical solutions to many of the problems. My fault. I'll admit it, I failed there. I actually thought you had a brain. Gary, I can run circles around you. We're not even at the starting gate yet. 
I'm already at the first turn, but you're still stuck. Maybe I'll have to slow down. Maybe and, and wait on you, I suppose. And enough of that. So let's get on to a point. And, and we're going to keep the points real simple for you. Simpletons can only handle one thing at a time, Gary. So let's make this point. All throughout recorded history, precious metals have been used as a form of exchange. It was 1964, that was the last year silver was issued in coinage in the United States. Now, over the past 40 plus years since then, world economics have progressively deteriorated. Sure, there's ups and there's downs in economies, but the trend overall since the end of a, a precious metal standard shows an overall dramatic decline. What's the problem in the world today? Why is it that years ago we saw societies getting along just fine until the time that that standard went away? And now we see the world going downhill real quick. Now, I'm fairly sure I know the answer, but I can't just blurt it out for you. Hell, you'd probably think I was as crazy as you are. But you see, these are all pieces to a puzzle that, that have to get put together to see the overall picture. It's not until you start putting the pieces together that you're going to get anywhere. But I'm here to help you out. I'm too sexy for you.